Namaskar and good evening. <clears throat> Today we'll take a look at the Q2 FI21 results of ICICI Bank. The management consists of Girish Chandra Chaturvedi, non-executive part-time chairman. Sandeep Bakshi, managing director and chief executive officer. Anu Bagchi, executive director. Vishakha Mule, executive director. <coughs> there are so many other independent directors, etc. But uh, the executive, uh, the top executive means this. Girish Chandra Chaturvedi, non-executive part-time chairman, Sandeep Bakshi, managing director and CEO, Anu Bakshi, executive director, and Vishakha Mulye, executive director. <coughs> now, let's... Uh, actually, this is a private sector bank, but there are no promoters. FIIs uh, hold a major chunk, and DIAs hold a major chunk. So that's how it goes. The board elects uh, the uh, principal directors, etc. <coughs> now let's take a look at uh, uh, we is one of the premier banks of India, growing very fast. So uh, in banks, interest is the major um, uh, income. So uh, Q2 income is fourteen thousand eight hundred and five crores. Previous quarter 15,336 crores and year ago quarter 15,136 crores. Actually speaking, uh, interest earned in Q2 is uh, less by 2.18% year on year and 3.45% uh, quarter on quarter. <coughs> now, income on investment is 6,061 crores. Previous quarter 5,854 crores, 5,364 crores is year ago quarter. So uh, income on investment has gone up by 12.99% year on year and 3.54% quarter on quarter. So other uh, things are uh, uh, <coughs> a little um, uh, not so very important. Overall interest is 22,226 crores uh, in Q2. In Q1, 22,422 crores and uh, uh, a year ago quarter, 21,106 crores. So, year on year, there is uh, an improvement in uh, interest earned by 5.31% overall. And uh, quarter on quarter, there is a degrowth of uh, um, 0.88. Other income is there, 17,094.93 crores. Uh, previous quarter 15,516.61 crores and uh, year ago quarter 16,318.8 crores. So 4.76 uh, percent growth year on year and 10.17 growth quarter on quarter. <coughs> now interest expended 10,994.95 crores uh, in Q2. Previous quarter slightly more, 11,347 crores and year ago quarter also 11,334 crores. So, interest expended has come down, that's good, 3.44% uh, down uh, year on year and 3.54% down quarter on quarter. <coughs> so, net interest income has risen by 15.45% year on year and 1.86% quarter on quarter. So this is important, net interest income, interest earned, interest uh, uh, spent, expended and net interest income has grown by 15.45% year on year and 1.86% quarter on quarter. <coughs> now the other important thing is uh, uh, <coughs> operating profit. Operating profit is uh, 9,922.66 crores to, uh, uh, in Q2. Q1 much higher, 12,291.88 crores and uh, year ago quarter, 8,363.31 crores. E uh, year on year improvement is 18.65% uh, and quarter on quarter minus 19.27. Operating profit is lesser compared to the previous quarter. 
now uh, the other important thing is provisions and contingencies that uh, is 3049.495 crores uh, compared to previous quarter 7704.58 crores so quarter on quarter there is a reduction in provisions of 60.41% but year ago quarter 2725.80 therefore uh, year on year there is a growth of 11.89% provisions have increased by 11.89% year on year but reduced by 60.41% now let us go to final net profit after minority interest and everything 4882.33 crores uh, previous quarter 3117.68 crores year ago quarter 1131.19 crores so uh, <coughs> this is final net profit but before minority interest the net profit uh, was uh, 5426 crores so net profit has increased by 242.86 uh, 242.46 percent year on year and 51.28 percent quarter on quarter final profit after minority interest uh, has increased by 331.61 percent year on year and 56.6 percent quarter on quarter this is the reason i have taken up by save bank net profit has increased by 242.46 percent year on year 51.28 percent quarter on quarter equity is uh, 1379.46 percent okay net profit uh, mm, has increased sizably will this continue it may continue see it has increased uh, with uh, year on year also quarter on quarter also so if uh, uh, icai uh, puts its head on uh, such items like my uh, net profit etc it is bound to increase now nowadays it is doing it so equity is 1379.4 uh, crores basic eps is 7.3 on a face value of 2 rupees i think uh, gross now uh, let us go to nps percentage of uh, uh, gross npa is 5.17% percentage of net npa is 1% so net npas have come down from 1.6% uh, uh, year ago and 1.23% quarter ago to 1% so uh, reduction of npas is a very healthy thing provisions also have come down that is the major thing in uh, banks <coughs> now 52 week uh, uh, now per current price of uh, icici bank is 486.55 52 week low was 269 and 52 week high is 552.4 so market price uh, 486.55 is somewhere near to 52 week high it may inch up slowly <clears throat> now if you look at the annual is let's take the previous five uh, annual results also to some extent see five years ago in march 2016 the interest uh, earned was 59293 from there it went on increasing and increasing and increasing 60000 crore 62000 crore 71000 crore crores. now in march 2020 interest earned is 84835 crores so it has increased from 59293 crores in five, five years ago to 84835 crores so interest income uh, has increased uh, considerably <clears throat> net profit uh, has not increased uh, to that level from 10946 crores it has increased to 11226 crores increased but the net profit increase is not very sizable uh net npa percentage that has come down over the years it was 3% 5 years ago increased to 5% uh, uh, 4 years ago to and 5% 3 years ago uh, 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 2 years ago to uh, uh, 2 years ago and 2.29% latest year march uh, 2021.54% 
now 1%. Percent. <clears throat> Latest quarter is 1%. Percent. Last year 1.54%. Percent. Let's also take a look at one or two items in the balance sheet. The deposits have increased from 4,51,077 crores to 8,7,784 crores. 4,51,000 crores to 8 lakh crores. That is very good. The deposits have increased very nicely. Now, borrowings have also in, uh, borrowings have come down. 2,20,000 crores to 2,13,000 crores. Now, loans and advances. That has increased from 4,93,000 crores to 7,6,000 crores. Loans, that is uh, on loans only, banks get their interest income. Therefore, 4,93,000 to 7,6,000 uh, it has increased. That's very good. Investments have increased. Investments in various uh, uh, instruments, 2,86,000 crores uh, five years ago to 4,43,000 crores. So, uh, deposits have increased, advances have increased. Investments have increased over the last five years. That is very good. Mm -hmm. But uh, net profit margin has not increased. Provisions etc. are being managed now very uh, nicely. Uh, NPS are being brought down. That's all quite good. And it, uh, uh, but uh, I would expect uh, net profit also to increase uh, well. You have seen latest quarter uh, the net profit have increased by over 200 percent, and so that's very good. So if it increases like that, ICICI Bank will be a very good uh, candidate for investment. Now, margin ratios. If you look at that net interest margin in uh, last year uh, was 2.91, but. Uh, uh, HDFC Bank, etc., uh, it ranges between 3.5 to 4. Net interest margin is 2.91 for ICC Bank. That needs improvement. Operating profit margin uh, is uh, negative. Uh, net profit margin uh, is 13.23%. That's okay. Um, uh, net profit margin is okay. Net interest margin is uh, subject to improvement. Return on net worth is 7.98% low. ROCE, return on ca ca capital employed, 2.6%, that is also very low. Return on assets, 0.69%, that is also very low, my opinion. Now, current pr market price of the shares is 486.5. Three years before, the price was 310. So, there is an improvement of 56%. Two years before, the price was uh, 357 rupees. So, with reference to current price, 35% improvement. One year before, 480. So, no improvement. Three months before, 359. So, there is an improvement of 35%. Three months before. One month before, 388. 24% improvement. One week before, 424. So, it is inching up now. The real uh, improvement has come during the last uh, uh, three months. ICC Bank was uh, uh, was giving dividends like 250 percent, something like that, uh, five years ago. Now it has come down to 75 percent. Last uh, uh, 2018, 2019, 50 percent, something. Like that. The uh, dividend uh, payout has to increase. So this is uh, ICC Bank. It is an improving bank, big bank, very big bank. Uh, HDFC and ICICI Bank are the biggest uh, uh, private sector banks. Well managed. Both of them are well managed. So, but uh, I would expect uh, the net profit um, uh, to net profit margin and net profit to improve in the times to come. Uh, NPAs are coming down. They are being managed reasonably well nowadays. So, we have to watch ICICI Bank results in future very carefully could become investment worthy. Now also, latest results are very good. So, I will come back to you with another very good uh, company. <coughs> ICICI Bank is very good. Latest results are very good. So, let us see another good result uh, next time.